So there's the access to college. I mean, I, I, I was saying this earlier today, but Bush has taken a seven billion dollars out of the financial aid package in his budget for college kids, for financial aid. Now, don't tell me these kids don't need to go to college. Everybody knows how important it is in today's world for these kids to be able to go to college. By the way, that's not the only thing he did. Got billions of dollars of subsidies, your money, going to the biggest oil companies in America. I mean, this is a I guess it's shocking that an oil man is giving money to oil companies. But, but the problem is he's giving your money to oil companies. And in the same budget, the same budget, he's taking away health care for poor children, nutrition programs for seniors, the disabled, and poor kids. Now you think about that for just a minute. More money, billions of dollars to Exxon, and we're taking health care away from poor children. This is immoral. I dare these people claim the moral high ground. It is absolutely immoral. And we are better than right. Well, we can help kids go to college. When I was campaigning here in Iowa, uh, whenever it was, seems like, <laughs> seems like nine years ago now, but a couple of years ago, uh, I talked about something I called College for Everyone, where we said to all kids, if you graduate from high school, qualified to go to college, and you commit your work, at least 10 hours a week while you're there, we pay for your tuition and books. Well, we took that idea and we put it in place in a poor county in eastern North Carolina. I raised the money for it. It's a private thing. And it's been, it's only been there a year, but it's been unbelievably successful. We don't give it to them, but what happens is these kids are committed to their own education, they work when they're in school, and then they don't come out of college with this staggering debt that so many of our college kids are confronted with. So don't tell me there are things we can do. There are things we can do. And by the way, it's, all, it's not just about money. There's, very, there's clearly a cultural societal piece to this. I mean, when 14-year-old girls living in the poorest neighborhoods in America are having their second and third child, they are doomed to poverty. Doomed. And we can't pretend it's not happening. It is. And I'm not sure I think the government can solve this problem. But I know our communities need to solve it, our charitable communities, our faith communities. We have to do something. I've seen actually a couple of programs that are unbelievably successful. They, all they do is they mentor these kids and give them some self-esteem and make them proud of themselves. Young black men in the inner cities of America, I'm telling you because I know, I've been there, they think they're going to die or go to prison. They, they, they see absolutely no hope in their lives. And because when you don't see hope in your life, you just give up. You know, you don't invest in your future. We can do something about it. We can do it with the same kind of tools. Mentoring, bringing jobs into the inner city. One of the things that I've been suggesting is that we have a million stepping stone jobs similar to job programs of the past to put people to work, to give them a job, give them some self-esteem. Particularly these kids who otherwise, they don't have the job skills, they don't have the education. Let's get them on a path out, not a path down, which is what they're on right now.